Hi, my name is Anuj Bharatwaj and today I am going to tell you how to configure VPN in FortiGate Firewall. So let's go to my basic monitor. This is like our FortiGate Firewall. I am logged in and if we want to check the status in IPsec monitor, you see that currently the I have configured the tunnel and this is the status of the tunnel currently that if you see that the phase one of the tunnel is up and the phase two of the tunnel is down so if i right click and uh, bring the tunnel up you will see that the phase two of the tunnel is also up now so this is the condition that uh, we are finally going to do it but uh, i'm going to tell you that how to configure this tunnel and how to make this up so let's start from the scratch how to configure and uh, how to get this condition and to make both the phase one and phase two of the VPN tunnel up in 48 forward. And that's how we start. There's no VPN tunnel configured. But before that, let's try to understand the topology that uh, how basically two firewalls are connected because we are going to configure site to site VPN. Okay. So if you see the diagram, what I project you on the screen then we have the two firewalls so this could be treated as our 1481 and this could be your 1482 all right in this scenario uh, we have i have just taken like direct connectivity that like one of this interface port 3 is directly connected to here but in the real environment this is not a direct one cable connectivity but uh, what is happening that they will be landing somewhere into the isp and uh, then from here that will be the connectivity but the ultimate purpose of that the reachability must be there means that ip address assigned here so this is the ip address currently assigned here and this is here but usually these are the public ip addresses and uh, they must be reachable from one end to another like here there should be reachability not only the pink the required port should be open if something is between blocking the port numbers so sometimes we are also having routers or switch in between so we have to take care of that one that nat is enabled or not so if nat is enabled or disabled that's also we have to take care during the configuration all right so let's start uh, that's how like we have the, the policy as well as the ip addresses scheme so which is shown you on the screen so we have this local subnet here this could be treated as the two locations delhi and bangalore so in one of the site like your organization one location is in delhi and uh, another location is in bangalore and uh, that's where we are trying to set up the site to site vpn connectivity okay so here let's jump to the configuration on the 48 firewall i'm taking the 48 one uh, this first one which is having an ip address of dot 160 so just uh, mind uh, i'm on the which uh, firewall so 160 is the 48 one and the 161 is basically this one that could be 49 two all right so i will log this on later on meanwhile i'm just going to configure here so once you go land on the home page, we are here. But in order to configure the VPN tunnel, you have to go to this VPN and to IPsec tunnels. Here, you have create under create new. You have this IPsec tunnel configured. All right. So if I click it here, page open like this. So here we have like four options: site to site, hub and spoke and remote access as well as the custom so if you go for the custom ones you have to configure everything by yourself okay so they are like uh, some of the automated things which are which are not done so in order to configure the vpn tunnel three things we have to take care or in fact we have to do it the very first thing is like the details about the vpn it means that the vpn configuration that's the which are the phase one and phase two parameters which of the dh group and all and uh, after that one you have to configure the firewall policies it means that without policy nothing works in the firewall and the third thing is a static route 
in fact uh, you have to tell that uh, which of the traffic should be forwarded towards the vpn interface so that's how using three things we have to do it so if you uh, do via the custom one these three things you have to do in the detail no uh, this firewall will not be able to help you like uh, you have to fill every detail in the like manual way and the automated things will not be working but in case if you take like a wizard or the template type which you are having let's suppose you go with the side to side most of the things are auto filled okay and it also gives you a very fancy picture that uh, how basically it is going to connect it 140 gate to another 40 gate but if you are having only uh, option for the 40 gate to 40 gate if you are connecting the vpn tunnels for 40 gate to any other vendor firewalls you have to go via the custom but uh, it's not a much difference you can convert this side to side tunnel to the custom one as well and then you can modify the parameters so nobody is like uh, stopping you if you don't uh, use the custom you can use side to side as well and then convert that to custom later on so let's go with the side to side and uh, i'm going to give this as a my tunnel one so this is the name i'm giving it and hit next it's asking about the remote ip address so remote ip address will be the far end so currently i'm on the firewall one and the remote ip address for this will be 10.1.1.2 so i give this one dot one dot two interface it takes automatically and pre-shared key is basically the password that's i'm going to use at the other ends so i'm using cisco at that one two three four you can you also use that one <laughs> that's not a problem but uh, you can choose another one as well like admin one two three <laughs> it's just your choice guys so uh let's click on the next and the local interface local interface means that towards where your local connectivity is there so this 10.1.1.10 like basically which traffic you want to encrypt it whenever your traffic is going towards the tunnel so i'm going to encrypt this traffic of this subnet was that so that will be my local subnet so i'm going to select that port 2 and it will come automatically and the remote subnet i'm going to put it here 10.1.20.0 hide this one and that's how it is uh, internet services i'm not using as of now just click next so this is the benefit of like wizard these are the things it will be doing automatically it will be like uh, it's running a script in background and it's creating the phase one interface local address group remote address group phase two tunnel always in fact the phase two parameters using the templates and the static route black hole route policies everything it will be just doing in the background once i click create so once i click create it will be running uh, something like a script in background and it will be just doing all the things in just a click so if i click next it's done everything is done and if you might have gone with the custom options you have to do everything manually like you will go to this address option you will create an address then you go to the address address group you configure the phase two parameters you go to the networks and uh, go configure the static route then you configure the black hole route you go to this uh, policy and objects go create the firewall policy so everything is just done automatically with this help of wizard all right so meanwhile let's check the status currently what status on the of the firewall so i can go to this ipsec monitor and you see that my phase one and phase two both are down currently so the phase two here that's down phase one is also down so obviously it will be down because i have not configured anything on the other end my click on the other firewall all right so let's jump on to another firewall and configure the same thing later here we are on the tunnel i will go to create new here i'm giving the name as my tunnel 2 you, you can give this my tunnel only uh, miss the name should not be matching with other firewall that's not a problem and uh, no net net i'm not using next 
remote IP address this time will be 10.1.1.1 password I have to put the same Cisco at that one two three four if we have given admin at that one two three four you have to do that one. Oh, I was about to miss that one Cisco S is extra I will remove that all right uh, if this does not match your uh, tunnels will not be coming up like faces will not be coming up okay so make sure you put the same thing so this time the local interface will be port 2 and will be coming as automatically 10.1.20.0 remote will be from this will be 10.1.10.0 because from here my remote subnet is this one right so from this firewall uh, currently i'm configuring this firewall so for this the remote subnet will be this one 10.1.10.0 and uh, next thing i have to do next and uh, once i create create it will just do automatically and here we go uh, like uh, my tunnel is configured let's see the status now what's there under the ipsec monitor so if you see here uh, now my phase one tunnel is up because i have uh, configured the uh, tunnel on both ends so you see uh, i'm going on the first firewall so here currently the status is phase one is down once i just refresh it it will come up so now i'm quite happy that my phase one parameters is also up i'm quite happy my tunnel is configured and it is up now only thing is that there's two ways to make the phase two up and then i can just send the test traffic by doing this bring up all phase two selector another way is like if you send any traffic like if you are working the real environment in the production environment you don't have to put this phase two like this from here bring this up okay what is happening because every time pe people are sending some traffic from here to there and that's how the tunnel is coming up so if i ping from this machine to another machine it means from here to there basically like from vpc1 to vpc2 that tunnel will be coming up you don't have to do other option is there you can right click and uh, click uh, bring up and that uh, will be coming up as i did in the start of the session but uh, now i'm going to tell you the another way so let me check the ip what's there here ip is 10.1.1.10.100 and somewhere it will be like vpc2 okay it's locked out so i will close this one and click it here so that should be the same ip what it is showing there but i'm just cross verifying 10.1.20.100 yeah so the same whatever is mentioned here okay so if i think from here uh, 10.1.20.100 you can ping from either side there's not a restriction 10.100 once i click here now my tunnel will be coming up so it's down not a problem i will just refresh it and here we go so my tunnel is up it and it's also you see that the, it is sending the traffic incoming and outgoing data is also counters are incremented so in the real environment there's like hundred or thousand of the pcs or the users which are on the site a and they are trying to communicate on the site b so this traffic will be quite high in your case okay so that's it about the vpn configuration and let me refresh it on the other firewall as well where it is showing the zero bits right now and make them up it feels happy you know <laughs> whenever the things you see the things scream all right so this was apt about the vpn configuration in the 48 firewalls and uh, one thing to add this is my website fresh double bar dot online okay so there like you can watch the upcoming sessions like ccna and uh, firewalls 48 firewalls so this could be changing based on the upcoming sessions and these are usually the live classes what i take and if you don't want to enroll for the live classes you can go for the self-learning there so self-learning you can go to the ccna these are basically the recorded sessions and they are free of cost you don't have to pay anything yeah the, for those ones uh, you need you need to pay so this is on a choice of whatever but obviously if you pay you get more value okay so but you can go for this recorded session as well like on 48 checkpoint as well as on the palo alto so you can go through that one uh, it will really help you in learning and to get progress in your career all right guys see you soon in the next session with a new topic in 48 or could be in something else okay see you soon bye bye
another thing at the end i just uh, missed it uh oh I, i'm not going to say that you subscribe my channel <laughs> i'm just going to say that uh, please uh, do practice these labs because once you just uh, learn it uh, you forget it easily if you don't uh, do the lab so keep doing the labs and if you stuck somewhere just uh, write in the comment section i'll be really happy to help you out okay <laughs> bye bye